Hello, I'm Mark Austin. Here are your top stories for the day. Nature has dealt a fiery blow to eight families on the northeast side. Good morning, I'm Katrina Weber. Those 14 adults and three children who lived in this building have lost their homes due to that fire, which is believed to have been caused by lightning. The firefighters say there were flames already coming out of the roof when they got here a little after two this morning. The fire affected all eight units of the, the building here at the Villa Rodriguez Apartments on Salado Creek Drive. A lot of people got out safely on their own, either after hearing the lightning hit or hearing their smoke detectors going off. But firefighters and police did have to wake up some of the other people and get them out. There were no injuries reported. Now, the people who have lost their homes due to this fire, we understand, are being helped both by the Red Cross and the apartment complex itself. Firefighters say that the apartment complex is putting them up in some of the other units that are vacant. Reporting from the Northeast side, Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News. Bear Facts is a public opinion poll. We ask hundreds of people in and across Bear County, and this is the first version since the pandemic has hit our community. Good morning, I'm Max Massey. In the latest numbers, we are seeing the impact socially, economically, and even approval ratings of our local leaders. So let's take a look at the latest version of Bear Facts. Here's just one question we are looking into. This one kind of jumping off the page in regards to the economic impact. The question asked, things respondents have experienced during this pandemic, 33% said they lost a significant amount of their household income. 9% said they've been putting off paying rent or their mortgage. 5% saying they lost their health insurance coverage. 10% saying they stopped paying, all, paying their student loans. And another 10% saying they've actually relied on assistance from the food bank, the Salvation Army, or another nonprofit. Now, this is just one of the many questions that we asked hundreds and hundreds of people. If you want to ask or if you want to check out more of this information, you can do so right now on KSAT.com. Coming up on Good Morning San Antonio at 9 a.m., we're actually going to be diving more into these numbers and give you some more of these questions. Reporting near downtown, Max Massey, KSAT 12 News. San Antonio police say a homeless man is in the hospital recovering from stab wounds. A police sergeant says they found the man stabbed twice under a downtown bridge near 35 in Columbus Park just after 10. He says a witness told a security guard in a nearby parking lot about the stabbing, but officers cannot find that witness. The sergeant says the homeless man is deaf and has trouble speaking, so they've not been able to get any information of who could have stabbed him. The man is expected to recover from his injuries. Another man is in critical condition after being shot in the back on the north side. Police say this happened at the 1500 block of West Bitters around 1245 this morning. Officers say they found the man in front of his apartment with a gunshot wound to the back. Police say they have no leads on witnesses and have not been able to get any information from the victim at this time. Police say a man's recovering after being hit by a car. They say a driver hit him while he was jogging on Blanco near Vista del Norte at Vista Valle. He was treated on the scene for his injuries, and because the driver stopped to help, there will not be any charges. More news online at ksat.com.